right, so um, once you complete all the parts, you've got the annotated bibliography, the mind map, the newspaper and timeline, and now you're doing your narratives. The last piece that you're going to do is putting it together in a, in a website page, okay? Now, don't let that freak you out. Um, I want to show you what I mean, all right? This assignment right here, um, it, it, the reason I gave you this assignment is because there are four examples of websites um, that have been done with the dystopian world. Now, in this project, they also had to do a TED Talk, which you don't have. Um, so when you look at this assignment, it's basically like a, um, a 20 points if you'll just reflect on something that you found in it that will help you, you know, that it helps you understand it better, whatever it is. Um, but I wanted to show you a couple. Okay, so basically you're going to take what you've already created and just put it into a, a presentation format of a website page. Um, and I'll show you the ones that you can use. So, you know, they're, um, they created a, uh, this is the name of, uh, probably of their newspaper. Okay. And then um, this one obviously is from somewhere in Asia. And like this person looked up, it says previously Shanghai, and they looked up like all the Chinese characters for um, the words, but I mean, they just put a lot of effort into it. Um, they've got like what the transformation of like what happened, how the world has evolved into this dystopia. Um, they've got the, there's your big problem that's going on in the society is mass surveillance. And then the effect would be the poverty and uh, climate change. And then they've got some links here. Um, they talk about how the city is uh, like set up. And then they've got these sections where they talk about their uh, major problems. So um, when you picture real world issues, they've put them here, the ones that are affecting their world. Okay. But now when you go to learn more, like here, wait, let me see, learn more. Hold on. I gotta find it. All right, so here they have the interview that they did in their news article, and uh, and then another news article that they have, and then a TED Talk, which again you don't have a TED Talk. Um, and then there are some hyperlinks with some art, real like real life articles that they just put in to make it look nice. Um, you should have links here, but hold on, let me find it. Let's see, poverty. Here's their newspaper. So most of this is just drag and drop. Okay, so you're just putting it into a website format and um, like they put their news article here and then they've got their um, narrative. It's not linked, although it should be. Um, and then their TED Talk, which again, you don't have a TED Talk. Um, let me find the narrative. They've got, I don't know why they're not linking, but you should have, if you have this kind of thing here, you should have a link for it. But I mean, like, there's a couple pages on here and they've put in some pictures and basically they dragged and dropped all their information that they already created into this. I'm going to work today to give back all the things that you've sent to me so that you have access to them. So when you go to start doing, um, putting your website together, um, if you don't have access to something, just send me a message and I'll make sure that I get it back to you. This one's probably a little easier to pay attention to. So like this is the narrative that they wrote. Um, obviously you guys will have two if you're in a group, but you'll have one if you're not. All this is just copy and pasted. Here are the articles that they created. Um, and so there's their article that they dragged and dropped. Um, your timelines, if you um, created a timeline online, if you save it as a JPEG, which is a picture format, then you can just uh, put it in. I want to show you one of the timelines that was pretty cool. But like that's all that's on there. They've got their narrative, their articles, their timeline. Um, uh, the one that I showed you with the links, if you wanted to put some links at the bottom from the articles that you read in your um, annotated bibliography, you could do that. Uh, let me see this one. Okay, so again here, like they have their news. Um, so the only thing new that you have to create is like finding a couple more pictures to, to make your website look nice. These are already ones that they created for their other part of their assignment. Um, here's the journal entry. So this is the narrative. Hold on. This is another narrative because uh, it's written in a journal, journal format like you're doing, Lily. And then this one is another one. Um, so... I don't know where their timeline is. They might be missing their timeline. Let me see. What's the one I haven't looked at? And then here's one more. So you can look through those and just do a quick reflection. Like this timeline looks like this. So, I mean, it's not even as fancy as some of what you guys have. Um, so there's a lot of details though. 
And again, all the things for them, oh, they've got a drop down menu and it's got the stories, the galleries, and the videos, which they spelled wrong, but um, it gives you an idea of the things that you can put into your website. All right, and so here is the assignment for it. I'm gonna show you that real quick. Um, so again, all the things that you're gonna put in here are things that you've already done. Um, and so this this link has some free website um, formats that you can use. I would personally use Weebly because it's cheap, it's free and it's easy. Um, and you can just create a website on Weebly. It, it walks you through the steps. It like says, you know, sign up, what it's for, what kind of website you want, blah, blah, blah. And then um, anyway, here are the links. They're down here and it gives you like ideas of what you can do with each of them. If you want to do any of the other ones, you're welcome to. Um, here's the things that you need in it. Okay. So the requirements are just the pieces that you've already created. Okay. Descriptive narratives, the informational article and newspaper, your infographic, that's your timeline. And then if you want extra credit, okay, um, I put this in here uh, and it says pictures and extra artifacts, any infographs or testimonials from characters from your world, any propaganda that you want to make, anything that you create extra other than the pieces that you've already done that you need to put into your website. If you put extra things in there, then I'll give you 20 points on your lowest grade of this six weeks. I just thought that would be helpful. Um, so 20 points is pretty nice, especially like for that common lint that y'all kind of sucked it up on. Um, so you don't have to create anything more, like I said, except for basically like setting up the website, putting some pictures on there, creating headlines and like links for the different pages in it, and then dragging and dropping your stuff. Does that make sense? Okay, so once you've done with the narrative, this is your last step. Okay, and if you, I'm gonna go back to this. If you, um, by, by the beginning of next week, I should be able to tell you if you need to take the exam or not. But all the exam is gonna be is, is Monday and Tuesday, we're gonna watch another dystopian film. If you have to take the exam, then the exam is an essay that you will write in class on Wednesday about the dystopian film. Okay, if you don't have to take the exam, the next week all you have to do is chill out with us, watch a movie. Okay, questions about the Dystopian World website, anything that you're working on now? So, are we working on, are we working on that in class next week? Like, like week? Other than watching the movie, like this is the only assignment that you have. Okay. So, and, and it's not due until next Tuesday. So, the day before the exam. This is the last thing you have to do. Okay. Questions, concerns for the good of the group. All right. Cool deal.